Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and today I have a big hormone update for you guys. So I'm going to do my makeup. It's Valentine's Day. I'm going to get ready a little bit and I'm going to tell you what's going on. Let's go. First big thing I want to say is that I don't know about the pellet therapy, to be honest. So I actually don't know if I got like swindled, tricked, catfished, does that work for medicine? Catfish into trying these pellet things. If you did not check out my other video, I recommend checking that out, that way you know what on earth I'm talking about. But I tried hormone pellets, they are bioidentical hormones because my testosterone was non-existent, super duper low, and I wanted to fix it. So after checking my hormone levels, we decided that it was so low that pellets were the best way to get my testosterone levels up quickly in order to maintain. And the pellets kind of like time release this like testosterone. The thing is, the first time I did it, my testosterone was like, through the roof, I felt it. I felt the change. And part of it was kind of scary because it's like the first time my body ever had that much testosterone and didn't know what to do with it. And then it leveled out and felt kind of good. But then the second time I went, I didn't have the crazy feeling, which was good because I said I was a crazy lady and like, ooh, that was not fun. And he's okay, well, we'll lower the dose. That way you're not like a completely crazy person, but we still wanted it to be at the right level because it did drop significantly. Just within like, I think it was like a five week time, it dropped like a hundred points back down from like normal to like not normal. Now here's the thing. When I ask these people what my normal level should be, they give me one thing. They say about 100. But then anywhere else I look up, they say normal levels for women are about like 70. And whenever I talk to my uh, gynecologist because I needed refills on my birth control, um, I told her I was doing these pellet things and kind of asking her about like, hey, whenever I like decide I want to have kids, not for a couple of years, but should I be on this pellet thing? And she's like, well, really, we would just have to see where your body naturally lands when you get off birth control, because if it's around 70, you're good. Otherwise, we would have to do some sort of testosterone thing to get you to 70. And it's just crazy because my pellet thing, they say 100 is kind of like the minimum you should be at. And whenever we tested my levels, I was never at a hundred. It was always like three something, two something. So kind of weird that those things don't perfectly line up. Like females levels should be females levels. There shouldn't be that big of like a communication gap. So that was really bizarre to me. Um, next thing, whenever I did go get my second round of pellets, I didn't feel any difference which I thought was weird because then I even went and got my levels checked after like two months of having it. And my levels were like high twos or threes. I don't remember. I think I posted it in the last video, but they were high, like almost like low for a male, but a high, high for a woman. But granted though, I wasn't, I didn't start turning into a man. Okay. Like I didn't even have the first big thing I noticed the very first time I did it was like, I had to like shave my armpits more and like that was kind of annoying. And then like I talked about the rage thing, but second time around, no rage and uh, hair was about the same. Granted, I'm like a freaking hairy goblin. So it's not that big of a deal. But my thing was I didn't feel any different. Like the first time was the only time I really felt a difference. So with that being said, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to go do this whole procedure again. Granted, like it's not a big procedure, but at the same time, like I don't want to scar on my butt. And so far I haven't seen one, but I could see how if you do it regularly, you might. So with that being said, I was debating on like, okay, come summer, maybe I'll just like get off birth control and then check my testosterone and see if it's picked up or see if like my body is just like, I don't know how to produce this on my own. And then I will need pellets or maybe I could go somewhere else to try it. Basically, like I would want a second opinion of some sort because I'm just really, <laughs> I'm really shocked that I just jumped in and said, okay, with this thing. Cause normally I do so much more research, but like I explained, I just wasn't in the position to hold on. Let me do some research real quick. I was kind of just like feeling really desperate. 
which is not a good thing <laughs> to just jump in and decide to do a medical procedure. But anyway, um, that was my thoughts for summer quit birth control because I do get cysts. So when they rupture, I have like two minutes, not even to get in the fetal position and I'm there for like the next seven hours. It's extremely painful. So I was afraid that if I got off of them, I would have those. And during the school year, that's like my worst nightmare to have a cyst rupture in the middle of class. What? I would scar some children and I, I do not want to do that. So um, I decided, you know, maybe come summer, that's what I will do. I talked to my boyfriend, he was on board because I just want to see what my hormones are actually like. I've been on birth control since I was 16, 17. I'm gonna be 30 in June. So that was the thought and then also see where my hormones are about February, March, which is about right now, and really kind of make a choice. But plot twist, I went to get my birth control for February and my pharmacy keeps messing it up. So I go and get three packs at a time, three months at a time. Every time they mess up, they give me a different birth control, the wrong birth control, and I end up arguing with the person. We have to do a couple different things. It's a whole disaster, but this happens every three months. So I knew this was gonna happen. So three weeks ahead of time, I went and I was like, hey, can I move from my birth control? Knowing they were gonna mess up, they did. And I went to pick it up. I was like, no, I would like the one I've been taking for the past four years, thank you very much. But I wasn't mad because like I said, I planned ahead of time to fix this. So they go, okay, and they call my doctor, then they call me and say, okay, we're gonna refill it, it should be ready like next week, which is exactly when I need it. Perfect. So come that week, I'm supposed to take it that day. I go to pick it up. They still give me the same generic kind. I was going to lose my mind. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I kind of did lose my mind in my car because they tried to tell me that it's not going to change anything. And I know it will, they know it will. Don't sit there and tell me it's the exact same because it's not. And I told the pharmacist, she's like, it's exactly the same, it is? So you can promise me that I'm going to have no additional side effects from just switching from my normal birth control that I've been on for five years to a generic kind. No problem? Well, yeah, that's what I thought. So that's why I came in early to fix a situation that wasn't handled, I was pissed and there was nothing they could do about it. Otherwise I'd have to go a full week or two without birth control and at that point, what the heck am I doing? So I grabbed the generic, I was pissed off, but at the same time, I got this kind of light bulb in my head. So I came home, thought about it, freaked out a bit, but then talked to my boyfriend when he got home and he reassured me that, you know what? If you want to quit birth control in summer, why not just quit now? And I've already put my body through a lot. I freaking got testosterone pellets in my glutes to try to raise my levels. And if that didn't put my body through a lot, switching birth controls on top of that, I feel like would be the icing on the cake. And I don't wanna do that to my body. So I decided to get off birth control. Yeah, I've been on birth control since I was 16, 17. Like I said, I'm 29, gonna be 30 in June. And I decided to get off. I'm not trying to have babies right now, probably in another like couple years, but I really want to just see how I feel, see if it'll raise my testosterone to normal levels, see how I actually am. I don't know how I actually behave because like I said, I was 16. I'm not doing my makeup. I'm just ranting, sorry. What do I wanna do? Take a minute. Okay, so I quit birth control. Yep, and I feel very, a lot of people, they throw the word empowered around and I don't, I'm not the biggest fan, but I guess I do feel empowered. Like I'm taking charge of my body, you know? And on the bright side, I haven't had any cysts yet. It's been two or three weeks. I haven't had my first period yet. So this is gonna be kind of like a two part video because this is more about my hormone journey and then just telling you I quit birth control. But I'm gonna do another one after the first month or two being off to really let you know now what getting off birth control is like. Cause I've heard it can be a roller coaster. So granted, I am trying to take all the necessary like precautions, like loading up on some vitamins, trying to eat cleaner, healthier that way come period time, it's hopefully not a disaster. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But really my biggest thing is I haven't had any cysts yet. So I couldn't be happier with that because like I said, my biggest fear was having that in school. And yeah, I was really nervous. But, okay, this is a little dark. Now I probably need some dark. 
Okay, so with that being said, the pellets might not have worked for me, but I think because I'm on birth control, it does play an effect, which I knew going into it. I know that birth control affects your testosterone and makes it lower. That's like what it does. But the thing is, it shouldn't have made my testosterone levels as low as it was, according to the people that I went to. So that's why I did it. And if you are thinking about doing the pellet thing, um, I do recommend it. I think that if you're older, it's going to be better. Because I'm younger, I can't necessarily say that like my experience was like great or like life changing or whatever it was because I'm still trying to figure it out. And I obviously stepped away from the pellet thing in order to try just getting off birth control. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll let you know which one is better or that I recommend, we shall see. But I would recommend getting a second opinion. Don't just jump in like I did. Okay, get a second opinion and see if, ooh, okay, there we go. Um, see if they kind of recommend the same things. That way you know what you're getting into. Um, there is also a birth control that has lower hormone percentages, so it's gonna be a little bit more natural. And probably should have switched to that birth control, but I was just so afraid of switching birth controls that it was like, I would rather just quit than go through switching birth controls again. So that was my big announcement. Did I get played by the, I'm just gonna call them the testosterone people? I don't know, because here's another red flag that I had. I got on their website after, because again, I went to this place because my general doctor, which I love, recommended him. Said that his wife goes to him and he recommends all his friends to him. So I just had a lot of trust in that. Um, not thinking that maybe they're just like homies and help each other out. Still love my doctor, but now I'm kind of thinking that might have been the thing. The thing was, I didn't look at their website before. I was purely going off of like my doctor recommendation. Now, when I did finally look at their website, I realized that they do a lot of like cosmetic procedures. And I don't know, but for me, that's kind of like a red flag because it's more of like a take my money because you want to look pretty thing. I don't, I don't know if that's bad to say, but like they do lip injections, they do Botox, they do... I don't know, the things that like you don't really need, but you do to make you feel better. I've never gotten Botox or anything like that, but from all the friends that I've talked to, it's like you can go in asking for a tiny little procedure and all of a sudden they're like recommending all this stuff to you, recommending that you go more. And to me, if I went in saying, I have low testosterone, I would like to fix this, it makes sense that they would kind of be like, oh, you need to do this and da 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 because they get more money. And it was expensive. It was like 150 a month, which it makes sense. If it really freaking helps you, it's worth it. Okay, because the thing is it lasts for six months. So 150 a month, I don't wanna do the math. But if it works for you, it's worth it. For me, it didn't work as smoothly or consistently as I would like. So I felt it was a waste of money. That's my opinion. But again, I would get a second opinion. And if you're older, maybe you already had babies, 40s, 50s, that's when I've really read a lot of successful stories. Again, I couldn't find any stories at all about women in their 20s, 30s doing it. So overall for the 20, 30 range that I experienced, inconsistent. I'm getting off birth control now. So I'll let you know how that goes. And hopefully my testosterone levels rise. I do have another appointment in March that's going to be checking all my levels. So by then I'll be off of it for one or two months. I quit February 1st, I quit February 1st. So it'll be a full month, maybe even almost two. And I'll get to see where my testosterone levels are at. And then that is when I will give you all of the information and let you know what I think, let you know what my first period was like. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, I feel really bad that I didn't get through all my makeup by the time that this video was done. So I'm just gonna fast forward and then show you what the end result is. <laughs>
Alrighty, hair and makeup is done. Finally added the mascara and the lipstick. My outfit for today, just XO shirt that I made. These bell bottoms that I love from Shein. And yeah, alrighty. So that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to carry on the conversation, go ahead and leave a comment. You can message me over on Instagram. I'm more than happy to answer your questions or just carry a conversation about this. And remember, if you are having hormone problems, just because the pellets didn't work for me does not mean that they won't work for you. Everybody's different, but stay tuned so you can follow me along this crazy journey. So hopefully we can figure out what works. <laughs> alrighty, see you guys in the next one.